to share a thought about what may be a major breakthrough I may have just had. I. I and I. We. That has been co-evolving for a long time. It's this idea that for a long time I debated people and argued about ideas. And I thought that there was a truth that I could convince or share with others. And I just, we just realized that maybe, or maybe not, and maybe something else, a point or a truth is like a statement. If someone were to say something to me, I would ask a question, they gave a statement like an answer. It's an assertion about an end. A point, an argument, a way of thinking, an ideology, a statement says, stop. This is where reality stops. This is where the sidewalk ends. But it seems that narrative is only a construct of the mind. I can look out into the world and I can observe beginnings and ends if I want to, but it is narrative that I am imposing upon reality. It seems, maybe, that the nature of reality, if there is such a thing, or even if there's a nature of the nature of reality and so on and so forth, everything changes everything evolves and it doesn't etc i can't even describe it with language because language is a representation of experience and anytime i might try to say this is what is or here is the end or this is the point that i think i could show somebody it is automatically not true because it doesn't take into account that all space-time evolves. It's a projection into the past. It's a calculation and a model based on previous experience to state something, here is an idea, but it doesn't account for this kind of fractal, infinite potential expansion of all reality of the universe, evolution in a kind of cosmic sense in a spiritual sense maybe. Evolution at every level of all things interconnected. So to offer a point or a statement like I am doing now, may be an opting out of the co-creatability, the flow with which one can engage and interact and play with evolution as it happens or even just get out of the way and be the evolution as it happens. But if I were to say this is the truth and here is the point, this is the end, I'm lying. Or even lying implies an idea in binary or dualism that I believe there's a true or false. So it may also be that you can have a point and an end and whatever, but because that's contained within infinity. But it's just occurring to me this idea that to state something, to point, to say this is it, that I spent so long thinking that here is the way things are and trying to show others that this is the thing. Any time I would even attempt to do that, I may be betraying a very fundamental nature of reality, which is that there is nothing that is static, maybe. Maybe everything changes every moment. We can either choose to experience it that way and observe it, or we can construct ideas and narratives in our mind that allow us to interpret it through categories and rigidities and ideologies and meta-patterns. 
And so to state or to make a point is to not, in a sense, maybe kind of fully play with and co-evolve with the future as it becomes the now, as it turns into the past, and as we draw back upon all of space-time. evolution, even though evolution does continue despite me trying to stop it. Instead I can just kind of interact and play and bounce and ask questions and co-create or just stop trying to do anything and just be as the flow of all evolution is what I am and what I become or something like that. What if all the statements people are sharing are theories? They are theories, They're, but they are based in the data from the past. Mm -hmm. Trying to project into the future a prediction based on how things have been. Mm -hmm. So it may hold up for a certain amount of time, but eventually the universe changes so much mm -hmm. that there's a paradigm shift that occurs in science, for instance, mm -hmm. because we've had these rigid, these really massively mm -hmm. data-focused, you know, massive, incredible, intricate, beautiful narratives that explain mm -hmm. the story of all evolution so far, and try to say that this is what it is going forward to. Mm -hmm. But eventually, things change so much, and we encounter new data, and we learn to see so much more deeply, and we realize that this narrative doesn't fit the data anymore. Mm -hmm. That's when we have things like a paradigm shift mm -hmm. to account for new ways of understanding and experiencing the universe that we previously didn't see. Or maybe that, that was the story at the time, but it still is a story. Mm -hmm. His story. It is a description of the past. Mm -hmm. But we're heading into the future. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe we're also heading into the past. I'm not saying it's wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just observing it. Mm -hmm. I'm observing how it relates to the idea that being and evolution. Is mm -hmm. just a thought. A description of the past. Mm -hmm. 